written communication. In the coming, say, one to two hours, we'll be basically dis discussing on all kinds of correspondence or written communications that you do in business. Uh, we'll basically start from how you write a letter. Now, the letter, we'll, we'll be discussing on what are the different patterns or what are the different approaches that you can follow in writing a letter. Uh, and we'll go up to, uh, you know, different types of wherein I'll be bringing in examples. How do you approach different situations? Okay. Uh, that would be to start with uh, about letters. Uh, we'll be following it up with internal communication modes like, say, uh, notices, circulars, which you generally use inside an organization. And finally, we'll be also covering on what is called reporting. What are the different types of reports? What are the designs followed? What are the approaches followed? How should be the layout of the report? So that is what is included in what is called written communication. We'll start with planning the letter. Now, a letter is one thing which you will have to write very often as part of your uh, doing your business because we already discussed while uh, speaking about written communication that this stays as a record. And this is where uh, this is where most business happens over. So this is part of anything. Either you'll be writing it by hand, you'll might, you might be using electronic modes, but planning, uh, but writing a letter would be an inevitable part of business as long as business is there. So let's first look at what are the steps that you have to take to plan a letter. Because to start with uh, speaking about the barriers of communication, we have already said that planning a communication is so very important. Whether it be it uh, you are going to make a presentation, oral presentation, or even if you are going to write a letter, you will have to come out with some kind of a plan. So let's first look at how do we plan a letter. The first question that we have to address while thinking about planning for a letter is what is our main aim in writing this letter? Why are we writing this letter? To? Are we writing a letter to a customer to persuade him and make him buy a product of ours? Are we writing a letter to our staff to inform them of something? So we will have to look at what is the aim of writing our letter. That's the first question that you have to answer. Followed by, have we given thought to what we really want to convey and are we clear about it? What do we want to convey? What is the matter or content or subject matter that you have? Are we clear about that? That's the second question. Now the third one is, is there any secondary aim that we should accomplish through this letter? Is there any secondary aim? Uh, like for instance, you are responding to an inquiry letter. Somebody have inquired you about a, a product of yours. No. The first aim or primary aim would be to inform them or, or to answer their query. Followed by you might have a secondary aim which is to make him buy this product. So that is what you do. Uh, is there any secondary aim that we have to, we, we should accomplish through this letter? While responding to an inquiry letter or responding to a complaint letter. In both cases, you can think about pushing a product of this. Even in case of a complaint letter, you can, if you can, if you are uh, taking care of that complaint really well, you might be able to address, uh, you know, sell a product. So these are the three steps or three thoughts that you have to put behind before writing a letter. These are how you plan a letter. Have we assembled all the relevant information and documents? copies of previous correspondence, figures, etc. You might have got more correspondence with the same person. Have we looked at all the history of our communication with this particular person or, or group of people whom we are talking to? That is what is put here as a fourth point. Number five, have we arranged the points in order of importance? Prioritize it. The first point would be the most important thing. This is what you want to inform them. The sec followed by the second point, which is, you know, Likewise, prioritize it and arrange it in the order of importance. The third point, the, the, the next point is have we separated the relevant points from the irrelevant ones? You are planning a letter. You have so many things to tell them. There might be relevant things which you want to inform. Once you read through it, you know what is relevant, what is less relevant. So prioritize again. Take the relevant things. Take out the irrelevant things. And then the next point, do we know the person to whom the letter is going? You should understand what he is, at what level he is, what is his level of understanding, 
what is his position in the society or organization or whatsoever. How is he likely to react to the information sent by us? What is the context at which this letter is going to him? Is there going to be some kind of an emotional impact on him? All these things would be addressed by understanding or, or, or having a bit of an empathy. Look at this letter and put yourself in the shoe of the receiver, in the shoes of the receiver. And think, how is he likely to react to the information? What would his reaction be? Even that is very important while planning a letter. After dealing with the questions given above, let's carefully study the situation that has necessitated the exchange of letters in hand. How can we make the best of the situation through our letter? Because the letter can do a lot of things for you. As I told you, uh, even a complaint that you receive from a customer, you can ultimately uh, make it into a sales order if you are good enough at business communication, if you are good enough at crafting a really good letter you can make it into a business. So you must think, how can we make the best of the situation through our letter? This is the last step that you have to take when you're planning a letter.